Hey, what is up everybody? This is Cam Jennings coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Today, I want to talk to you about advice. I'm talking about free advice that you might receive. I'm talking about paid advice that you might receive. Unsolicited, solicited, all the advice. There's no shortage of advice out there, in case you haven't noticed. That's what we want to talk about today. Um, before I get into that... I want to remind you to get over to epicconversions.com, sign up for my free newsletter. I actually just uh, finished, <coughs> excuse me, I just finished an autoresponder sequence for that newsletter. It's really cool. Like every single message, I reveal a different secret. Uh, and I think you're going to find them really interesting. So anyways, be sure to get over to epicconversions.com, check it out. Uh, now, about advice. So what can I tell you about advice? And I'm going to include the advice you're getting from me right now. Okay, I'm including that. The first thing I tell you is you should take advice that you pay for more seriously. If you pay someone for information, or if you pay someone for mentorship, if you pay someone for coaching, take their advice more seriously. You paid them for that advice. Obviously. Now, if you did not pay someone for, for, for advice, I mean, take it however you want to take it. You know, take it seriously, don't take it seriously. I don't take it too seriously if I didn't pay for it. And I'm going to include what I'm telling you right now with that. You know, if you didn't pay for it, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Now, here's the thing. It sounds like I'm telling you, let's, let's kind of reevaluate what I just said. Because it sounds like I'm telling you, only listen to paid advice and never listen to free advice. That's not really what I'm saying, even though I know that's what it sounds like. Here's what I am telling you about all advice, whether it's paid or whether it's free. Advice, if you're going to take it, if you're going to entertain the advice, whether it's paid or whether it's free, you need to test it out for yourself. Do I think that you should take paid advice a little more seriously? Yeah, I mean, I do. You, I, you paid for it. I think you should take it a little more seriously. However, sometimes, you know, we find free advice and... That free advice sounds pretty good. It sounds reasonable. I know it's happened to me lots of times. I'm sure it's happened to you lots of times. Maybe you picked up a free ebook, or maybe someone who you were talking to gave you some free advice unsolicited. Or maybe, you know, you heard something in an email or whatever the case. You just got some free advice somehow. And the advice seemed pretty smart. Well, what I'm telling you is, first of all, approach it with a degree of skepticism because you haven't tried it out yourself. All advice should be approached with a degree of skepticism is what I'm telling you. Even advice you paid for. Just because someone's good enough to get you to pay them doesn't always mean that they're giving you good advice. I'll give you an example. I uh, once paid a mentor a thousand dollars to show me how to do something, and the equivalent of that coaching was one 15-minute call in which they told me what I needed to do was network more. I needed to do more networking. That was it. One 15-minute call where I was told I needed to network more. I'm not saying that's not, you know, good advice, but I am saying I don't think that advice is worth a thousand dollars. And I am saying that you got to approach all advice with skepticism. I don't care if you paid for it or not. The advice I'm giving you now, I'm sure that some of you are going to listen to this and you're going to say, yeah, that makes actually, actually, that makes a lot of sense. 
And you're right for thinking that. It makes sense to me. I'm sure it's going to make sense to you. But. Still yet. Approach this advice with skepticism. Every bit of advice that you receive. On the internet. In real life. Unless you've tested it yourself. Unless you know your own results. Approach it with a degree of skepticism. I like to think. I like to think of it as open minded skepticism. Because. I like to give things a chance to work. I like to give them a chance to work. I want them to work. But I still approach it. With this feel like. This might or might not work. I just don't know. It sounds good. Makes sense. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten advice from people. Now, to be fair, I've gotten a lot more free advice from people that didn't work than paid advice from people that didn't work. But, regardless, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten, you know, advice from people that when they explained it to me, it sounded so good. It sounded so right. It sounded exactly perfect. Like that's that's the hidden. It sounded so good. It was like the hidden. It was like the hidden piece of what I needed to be like next level successful. But when I tested it, when I tried it out for myself, it's like it didn't. It didn't work. It didn't work quite as uh, good as advertised. You know, like maybe it worked a little bit. But not like it was advertised to work. Maybe it didn't work at all. Maybe it didn't work, but I wasn't ready to give up on it. So I had to adjust it to get it to work for me. But the point is, you can make the argument, well, if someone gave you advice to try, and then you had to adjust it majorly to get it to work, then did it really work? I don't know. You have to like decide that for yourselves. I'll give you an example. I bought this course. I want to say it was like $100 or $200. But it's called Google Sniper. This was several years ago. It's by a guy named George Brown. If you haven't been around for a while, you might not have heard of him. But anyway, it was a course about creating these little... Like, they called them sniper. He called them sniper sites. But basically, they were little mini sites. They were dedicated. The site, the website that you created was just going to be dedicated to, like, one keyword. And it was, like, a kind of a long tail keyword. And you were supposed to dominate that long tail keyword with, you know, three or four articles around it on your little mini site. And then you are going to make money with affiliate marketing. Well, like when I read that report and I read the, I watched the videos and stuff and like, I was really excited, man. And I took it seriously because, you know, I spent like a hundred, two hundred dollars on it. So I was, of course I was taking it seriously because I spent a lot of money on it. But when I tried it and I'd take a lot of uh, leaps of faith on this thing too, because at that point when I was trying that, I was really green. This is way before. I made hardly, I didn't think I made any money online at that point, I don't think. But, uh, anyways, the point is, I had to take all these leaps of faith, you know, I had to invest in like hosting and invest in a website. And, and this is kind of new territory for me at the time. This is before I ever started Epic Conversions and all that stuff. And, uh, what happened was it didn't work. And it, I was like, kind of frustrated by it you know but you know how like sometimes things don't work and you feel like you got ripped off but then sometimes things don't work and you feel like you're just not doing it right like it's you're messing it up the problem is you not the system well I believed in that particular instance that the problem was me it was too much new stuff for me I didn't think I was doing things right or whatever 
but I invested in that hosting and I invested in that website and I invested in the course, you know, and I had a family and stuff at the time and I felt guilty about trying it again and invested more money into it. So I just kind of like let it go. But I still kept the knowledge in my mind of what that was and the ideas surrounding it. So flash forward several years later and I started trying to apply those same Google Sniper principles to a YouTube channel and they absolutely worked. I just had to adapt the strategy to YouTube. Now, the reason I bring that story up is because I have a question for you. Was that good advice? Or did I adapt it so much that it was like me doing my own thing? You'll have to decide for yourself. Was it $200 advice if I had to adapt it so much to get it to work? You'll have to decide for yourself. What I will tell you is, I feel like I took something that existed and I adapted it to where it would work for me. And I will tell you that I think that the course mattered and the advice mattered because I would not have thought to apply those tactics to YouTube if I didn't know those tactics to begin with. So in that way, the advice mattered. But swinging back to our original point, you know, you should not look at advice, whether it's paid or whether it's free, like, like this is the missing piece, this is the, this is the ticket. Don't put all your eggs in a basket when you don't even know if that basket can hold eggs. There might be a giant hole in it. <laughs> You might have to patch that basket, <laughs> i.e. you might have to adapt, you might have to adjust, you might have to come up with something completely different. That thing just might not work for you at all, or that thing might have worked three years ago and it don't work now. It could be any manner of things. So what I'm telling you, long story long, is all advice approach with a degree of open-minded skepticism. If you haven't tried it yourself, then you don't know if it works. That's the bottom line. And I apply that to all advice I'm giving you right now, all advice I've given you in all these videos. Unless you've tried it yourself, you just don't know. So you have to, yes, have some open-mindedness because if you don't try new things, you can't grow but also have a degree of skepticism because you shouldn't trust anything that you haven't tried yourself. So anyways, that's all I got today. Hope you guys are having an amazing one. It is uh, awesome talking to you guys. Be sure to get over to my website, epicconversions.com. Sign up for my free newsletter. I just put a fantastic new sequence in place. It's going to give you 10 amazing secrets on the subject of PLR. I'll see you guys. Peace now.